the Chan or Zen school sometimes calls itself the, the school of consciousness. In other words, uh, it uh, teaches the nature of consciousness. There is a famous set of drawings that show one paradigm or one possible model for the path of uh, coming to understand the nature of your consciousness. And it's called the 10 ox herding pictures. Shi niao tu in Mandarin pronunciation, ju yuzu in the Sino Japanese. Uh, niao means an ox. And um, <clears throat> the ox symbolizes um, the nature of consciousness. Uh, so they call it the Shinyo, okay, the ox of consciousness. The uh, consciousness uh, symbolized by the ox. But to understand consciousness, in other words, experience, our senses, is also enlightenment. So the 10 ox herding pictures can be interpreted in two different ways. One is they show you stages on the path to enlightenment. The other is they show you the process of uh, understanding or truly grasping what consciousness is. But of course, those are exactly the same thing. I would like to go through them. I don't know if you can all see this, but this is the first picture. And this is called Searching for the Ox. Notice that there is no ox to be found. The Chinese verse that goes with this says, the ox herding boy is completely lost. There's no trace of the ox. There's only the cicadas chirping. <laughs> Do you understand who the ox herding boy is <laughs> and what the cicadas chirping? <laughs> this is the situation of most people on this planet at this time, unfortunately. They know they want something, but what they think they want is not what they really want. There's, everyone's searching, okay? Like that song goes, everybody's looking for something, okay? But what people think they want uh, is happiness dependent on conditions. But what they really want is happiness independent of conditions, symbolized by in the enlightenment ox or the the consciousness, the nature of consciousness ox. But the, there's no ox at all, not even any trace of the ox. He's just wandering around, searching for something, looking for something, and just hearing the, um, the twittering of the cicadas, which is unfortunately the situation for most people. Some people, though, in their wanderings, get fortunate. They see the tracks of something. They haven't seen the nature of consciousness. They haven't seen the ox. They haven't experienced enlightenment. But something gives them an indication that there is this possibility. Maybe they heard a Dharma talk. Maybe they had some experience when they were little that they never forgot. Or when they were grown up. Maybe they had a friend that came to a retreat, etc., etc. 
they get some indication that there's another possibility beyond the transient fulfillment of the twittering world. So this is called seeing the footprints. Every one of you has seen the footprints, or you wouldn't be here. You might guess what the next step is. He sees the tail on the ox, the tush, and a few hairs of the tail. Hasn't really seen the whole ox yet. But can you see? There's the tush and the tail. And it's like, oh my god, it really exists. <laughs> I haven't seen it all, but I have seen a little piece of it. Most of you are at least in this category. You've gone beyond just seeing the footprints, OK? You, you've actually gotten a little visage of who you really are. Or you wouldn't have survived two weeks in <laughs> silence. <laughs> So you, you've seen the ox, but that's not the same at all as catching the ox. <laughs> um, you see, he's got, a, he's got the whole ox, <laughs> and he's got a hold of it. Now, we could say that this would be perhaps one's first glimpse of no-self, stream entry, or Kensho-type experience. You've actually seen the whole ox, the nature of consciousness, which is no thingness, and you've got a handle on it, but it's still running wild. But at least you've captured the ox, but, and it's in your ken. You can see it anytime you want, but that's a far cry from 